So we'll take a look at how we can sync the three pocket operators together in this video. And what I've got set up here is um, I've got the PO12 rhythm and then I've got an audio cable going from the PO12 into the PO14 sub and then the audio cable going from the sub into the factory and then this audio cable from the factory uh, PO16 is going into my mixer and then into the sound card. So the PO12 rhythm is the master so it's transmitting the clock and the audio down through to the sub and then the sub is doing the same transmitting the audio and clock into the factory and then that's transmitting the, the audio only into the mixer. So in the manual for the pocket operators it tells you about various ways to sync these up, sync scenarios, so you could have an iPhone in here, say, and sync that to one of the, the pocket operators, or you could have a Korg Volker synth, which we'll look at later. And uh, this is actually sync scenario example A, so the drum machine, then the bass, and then the lead synth. And once you've set up with the audio cables, what you need to then do is access the sync settings on all three of these and set them up and that's using this button here on the rhythm it's function on the sub and factory it's the key double zero and to sync it in this way in this chain is I go function and then go BPM to access my sync settings you can see here say the SY0 head it again and it says SY1 and uh, I want this rhythm to be sync 1 uh, and then on the sub hit key double zero and BPM and I can change the sync settings there and I can set it. I want to set this to sync five, so SY5. And now on the factory, go key double zero, BPM. And I want this to be sync four. So that's the example A it gives you in the manual for setting up this sync scenario. Uh, and then what we do is on both the sub and the factory, hit play. And play here as well. And you can see the play icons flashing on both of these. That means it's waiting for the master clock to be generated from the rhythm. So if I hit play on the rhythm now, you can see all three are synced together. And what I might do actually is just hold right and pattern. That's key and pattern, isn't it? Just to wipe that pattern, to take the factory out. Uh, just to discuss it because you notice the factory was very loud there and uh, there's a, I discovered when I was doing this, syncing this up, that the sync is really nice so you can see the sync. So if I change the BPM now of uh, the rhythm generating the master clock, it syncs very nicely, change it again. The sync is really, really tight and that's great. What I found slightly limiting was the we can't turn the individual volumes of each unit up or down. So you notice the factory was very loud. So if we go into write mode and program some notes back in, They're quite loud. Those I programmed in some toms off the micro drum. It's quite loud. But if I want to turn the volume down of the factory, I'll BPM take it down. It turns the volume of all three down. Uh, and I noticed in the chain they seem to get louder and louder so the factory was quite loud, the sub was quite loud. What I'd really like to do is turn the rhythm up here. If I turn this up, it kind of drives the input of the sub a bit and you get this fluctuating level a little bit so I turn it back down. So. Not individual level controls, so yeah, a bit of a compromise. You could bypass that by, say, using this audio cable, using a splitter cable, and uh, splitting off individual audio levels, but then you would need three inputs on your mixer. Uh, so that would be something to consider. And um, and also I noticed it doesn't transmit the, the shuffle from the rhythm, so load a different pattern in here. So if we add a bit of shuffle to the rhythm, it's not transmitted down, so we've only got shuffle on the rhythm, so 
be better to avoid shuffle completely sinking in this way because the, the shuffle or the groove won't be transmitted down from one to the next. But having said that, there are a couple of limitations, but it's just really fun way to program stuff. So there we go, to load in a different sound. Or just load in a different pattern. Or load in a different pattern here, and it's just a really fun way to jam around. But then I noticed as well that the sync doesn't always stay quite tight. So if I hit stop there and hit play again, they're not all quite synced. And sometimes, like now I've hit stop and you can hear the kind of sustaining note and the two play icons flashing. That means when I play now, they will all be synced. And so, as long as the play icons flash when you hit stop, then it syncs really nicely. If I hit stop there and then hit play again, it's not quite synced. So a couple of sync things to consider you would need to then stop it and then hit play again so the play icon is flashing and then they all sync together. But yeah, there, there's a couple of compromises, a couple of issues, but really fun way to jam out kind of drum rhythms, bass rhythms, lead rhythms and just be a bit kind of experimental with it really. Okay, now let's uh, load up the Korg Volker bass and I'm going to use that synced with this PO12 rhythm here. So here I've got the PO12 rhythm set up with the Korg Volker bass and uh, again refer to the manual for how to sync these and the sync settings to set but you put the rhythm on sync 2 for this setup and the Volker is the master clock so I've got the sync out, the audio cable here, the sync out from the Volker go into the input of the rhythm and then over here the input and then the output of the rhythm going into the mixer and I've also got the separate audio from the Volker, so individual volume controls, which is nice. And um, I'll just hit play on the Volker here. Load in a bass sound, and then hit play on the PO pocket operator. And now let's try and change the tempo on the Volker to see if they're synced. You can see they're quite nicely synced there. And I found this loads of fun to play around with. I might just turn the volume down here. And I think out of the three pocket operators, the rhythm was my favourite, so it's just got those really nice drum sounds and syncing it with something like the Volker bass. And then having that individual volume control. Just loads of fun to play around with. Get those acid sounds on the go, and then just play around with some different rhythms in here. To be fair, I could just could almost do a live set with just these two uh, simps, really. You know, have all your different all your different uh, three or three rhythms on your vocal bass, all your drum rhythms, and it's so nice to just load in patterns. 
various different patterns or even just start writing stuff on the fly. So go, the right pattern, function pattern to clear it. With them synced, loading my kick drum, go into write mode. Uh, load in electronic snare. Do some parameter locking on the electronic snare. Hi-hats. Actually open hi-hats. And you can see how much fun that is. So um, having this set up as opposed to the free pocket operators all linked, I just thought bringing in a different synth into the equation, having that individual volume control without to use splitter cables and um, yeah, lots of fun to jam around with. So the sync settings on the pocket operators are really nice. You can see, very simple to set up, just refer to the manual for the sync scenario you want. Okay, that brings us to the end of this series of videos we've been doing on the pocket operators. I hope you've enjoyed them and thanks for watching. Cheers.